What's going on guys? Nils Jonasson with Canik Firearms here and I have the brand new Canik TTI Combat. Let's check it out. So in addition to the pistol itself, I also have the brand new Mechanic MO3 Red Dot Optic. And it's a 6 MOA top battery compartment on an RMR footprint. So I've actually been using the original prototype of this optic pretty much all of last year. And I've got well over 30,000 rounds through it. And it works like a champ. So MO3 on here. And again, the pistol is the Canik TTI Combat. And today I've got a whole bunch of different ammo to shoot out of it, right? So I've got some Max Tech 9. These are their 115. I have some PMC Bronze 115 grain. I've got some PMC Bronze 124, along with some Excalibur ammunition 147 and 124 ammunition. So to finish it off, I've even got some of my competition reloads that I run in major matches. So. Let's load this bad boy up and see how it shoots. I think I'm going to start off with the Max Tech 9. And again, these are 115 grain projectiles. So behind me at about 10 yards, I have a plate rack set up along with a square down low in the middle and a single circle on either side. So I'm going to do some transition drills and I'll probably like double the square, shoot a plate off the plate rack, double the square, shoot a plate off the plate rack, and so on. Along with transitions onto those wide circle targets. So again, let's start out with the Max Tech 9 through the TTI Combat. going hot. Max Tech 9, no problem. So Max Tech 9, no problem. Let's load up some 124 PMC and reset the plate rack. That max tech is a little snappy. Definitely more recoil than my standard reloads or competition match ammo. But it's also cheap, so what can you say? The TTI comes with two magazines. One is this 18 round magazine, and the other is a 21 round magazine with a Terran Tactical base pad. All right, so 18 rounds of PMC Bronze 124. Not too shabby. All right, so 124 is good to go. Let's try out the PMC 115s. Got it here, might as well see how it works. And obviously pull. Pause the lever. All right, eighteen rounds, one hundred and fifteen grain PMC bronze TTI combat. One fifteen feel pretty good. All right, now let's switch over to the Excalibur 124 grain. Hundred and twenty, sorry, hundred and forty seven grain. Excalibur 9mm. 
TTI combat. Those 147s definitely feel softer. All right, now let's try the Excalibur 124. Man, those 147s are soft. Less accurate, obviously. Because obviously that's the ammo. I, mean, I couldn't have missed. There's no way. It's impossible. I never make mistakes. All right, 18 rounds, Excalibur, 124, 9 millimeter. Mechanic, TTI combat. Whew. A little more kick than the 147, but I kind of like that kick, you know? It's hard to explain. All right, so I've already tried the Max Tech 9 115, the PMC Bronze 124 and 115, as well as the Excalibur 124 and 147 all through the Canik TTI Combat. So now, let's try my own personal competition reloads, which is a 124 grain Barry's round nose projectile. Coming in a power factor of about 132 power factor. Let's see how these bad boys shoot. This is what I'm used to shooting most of the time through my competition guns. Loading, loading, loading. Get those Maggies loaded. Get the Maggies loaded right now. All right, folks, play rack. All right, my competition 124 berries reloads, Canic TTI combat. Well, I was trying to go fast to impress you. Oh well. So, shoot's pretty darn good. Let me load this bad boy up one more time and do kind of a full speed, under control, match style run. So this would be, if I was at a big match, pressure's on, I got Bob Vogel, Eric Fell right on my heels. Gotta have a solid run to win the match. Zero extra shots. Pressure's on, the Cadillac's on the line. Got 18 for 18. Canic TTI combat. Are you ready? Stand by. Go. And just like that, Nils Jonasson sucked again. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, this gun shoots really, really well. Uh, let's come on and get a closer up of the inside of the case and you can check out what all comes with it. Come on. So, obviously we have the pistol itself. It's got our magwell on there. The Terran kind of did a little bit of a revision on. The grip texture is quite a bit grippier. We have a back strap that matches the color on the slide as well as the comp. The barrel's spiral fluted with a single port compensator in it. And then on the end, that's actually a removable shroud with a quick detach. So you can actually take this apart like a normal pistol. And then in the case, comes factory with all your different back straps, your little takedown tool. So you've got all your cleaning kits, or not your cleaning kits, your tools. So your optics mount screws, screwdrivers that click in here. Got your top plate here, removed now because I have the optic on there. Your additional 21 round magazine. And then under here, we have our pistol holster, takedown punch, some cleaning tools, your Canic TTI challenge coin, because we like cool stuff at Canic. And then up here is a reduced power recoil spring. So if you're shooting really light reloads, we actually include a lightweight recoil spring specifically for that application. So that is the brand new Canic TTI Combat.
Peace.